So, as many of you are probably aware, if not all of you by now since Ralph put out a statement yesterday, I've received a strike here on the channel, so that means no more streaming for 90 days. Now the appeal is out, so there's still a chance it will get reversed, but in the event that it doesn't, I wanted to let everyone know what the plan will be from here. So I started a backup channel, and it's called Scratch Point Live, where I'll hold my streams for the time being. I don't have a custom URL yet, so I'll post the link in the description and the comment section of this video. If you guys could go over there and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. I know it's kind of annoying to have to move from channel to channel to follow the streams you watch, but it'd be a really big help to me, and if you're one of the people here who enjoy my streams, that's where you're going to find me for now. So I want to give a big thank you to Ralph, Zidane, and Gator for the burst in growth around here on the channel. I know they feel bad about the strike, but it's not their fault. I knew the risk going in, and as I've stated before, they're welcome back here on the channel anytime. And I'd also like to say thanks to uh, Tonkasaw, Failure, and Vamp for offering up their channels to allow me to stream. That was extremely generous of them, as we don't even really know each other very well outside of Twitter, so it was really cool of them to invite me onto uh, the Kumite as well. I enjoyed that. But I think for now, I'm going to try to build up this backup channel just so I'm safeguarded in the future for any potential strikes. Now, if one happens on the backup as well, perhaps I'll have to take them up on that offer. Obviously, being a newer channel, I won't have all of the features enabled, so there will be no monetization or super chats until we grow the sub count and watch time. So if you do want to support, I have Streamlabs and Patreon. The links for those are on the bottom of the screen here in the video. And as always, they're in the description with a variety of other methods of support. So on that note, I want to say thanks to everyone who has donated or even just, you know, listened to anything that I put out. Thanks to all the new subscribers who gave my videos and streams a chance. I hope you'll stick around for more. And of course, thank you to everyone who has been here prior. I'm definitely grateful for all of that. These YouTube strikes are really demoralizing, but it was nice to see my streams grow, and I definitely don't want to give up. So, again, I'd appreciate it if you follow me over to the streaming channel and subscribe so we can keep things going. Now, just as a bonus, a little, little extra here, I wanted to make a guide for people who just can't seem to keep their finger away from the report button on content they don't like. I want to give them an alternative method. I want to show them what normal people do when they come across things on the internet that they don't like and supposedly have no interest in engaging with. Okay, so just as an example, here's a channel with content that I don't like. Do I go to the report button? No. No, I don't. We're going to go up to the top right hand corner to that little X right there, and then we're going to click it. See how quick it goes away? That's all you have to do to make the big mean YouTube streams that you don't like go away. Stop reporting content, you absolute pussies.